Hey everybody, if you've been watching me, my videos for a while, you'll know that I had a lot of losses in the fall. These are all supers that had bees in them and they have since been robbed out because I put them out here because they were dead outs. I had a lot of dead outs. And this has really been disturbing to me and it's got me to a point where I'm ready to quit. Now I got about 400 pounds of honey last year, but then I lost all these bees out of, I think about 59 hives, no, about 49 hives. I wound up with only six. At this point, I know that I have three that are left. It's still winter time. Not much is happening here. The maple tree there hasn't begun to bloom. So I thought it was gonna be a lot warmer now, but today it's rainy and wet and cold down below 50 degrees and cloudy, of course. And usually the 15th of February, we don't get much freezing weather after that, but now we're predicted to get down into the teens again, a couple nights. And most of the nights are going to be below, be below freezing. So I really can't go into the hives again. I was able to go into them a few days ago. And I found that that top hive up there had quite a few hive beetles in it. And I need to do something about that. But I think maybe in a couple days I'll have a chance to do that. Put some more traps back in there. They've got some in it, but I don't know. The hive beetles aren't going into them. I think it may be the stuff's been in there too long and the odor has gone away so they don't smell it. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a little discouraging to do that. Now, in a couple of weeks, it should warm up. At that point, I'll look into these hives and also three more I have in another yard that the last I checked were still doing well but that's been a while because it's been very cold in fact we had snow that was on the ground for about a week and well just too cold to go in the hives so it is winter time yet but usually by February 15 we're good to go uh, pretty much gets up into the 50s and 60s almost every day and usually doesn't get down below oh about 40 degrees at night maybe 35 but that's not going to happen this year we're already predicting some snow again this next week now that doesn't mean it's going to happen but it does mean it's going to be cold probably pretty much uh almost every day is predicted below 32 degrees so i'm a little concerned about that will these bees make it until i can help them out some more get into them check and see what's going on maybe put the brood down in the bottom box and you know do the things that you would do normally with maintenance for honeybees but i'm very concerned and i'm hoping that i would be able to make splits and kind of get back up in there get some more hives going maybe some nukes and you know make some nukes from these six hives that i've got and be able to recover some but one of the things I'm going to do is stop trying to have more than maybe six hives. Uh, I'm going to sell off whatever I got that is over that. It's uh, just too much work to try to, oh, try to, re re try to do everything you need to do to salvage the honey, honeybees, uh, keep them from dying. Now, I'm not alone in this. I'm hearing a lot online about the losses already this year. And last year, 50% of honeybees were lost. And that's pretty much across the board with commercial beekeepers, sideliners, and hobbyists. So this is a really tricky business. And you really got to take care of them. You got to really get into them and watch them because it's really hard to make a loss like this. Losing, you know, 35 hives or more is just tough. It's hard on your psyche. It's hard on your, hard on your pocketbook. 
Can you imagine? That's a lot of money going down the tubes. Anyway, I'm a little discouraged, but I'm having hope that in a few weeks I'll be able to make up the difference and get back up to where I have six good solid hives for myself and maybe make a few nukes for other folks. But I'm definitely going to be selling off anything more than six. I'm not going to try to harvest, not to try to try to keep more than six hives. I may try to keep it down to even three. Maybe I'll cut it down in three hives so I don't have too, too much to worry about as far as being able to take care of them. I'm getting older, so that makes a difference. Uh, it's hard work, and when you get to be 80 years old, well then, <laughs> well, it becomes harder work. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll continue to watch, and I hope you'll subscribe to watch more of these. Uh, I'm going to keep going. And, uh, I don't know just how it's going to go this year, but we got a lot to do. I'm going to try to raise some queens to make uh, my own queens and make splits and maybe capture some swarms. Who knows? Do whatever we can. I'll well, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.